So before we get started, I wanted to warn you guys about downloading IPSWs from websites that are not uh, very reliable. Don't search Google, I have the links in the description below that are two reliable sources. Just know that the, the IPSW is over one gigabyte, so it might take you about half an hour to an hour to download them. Just because it takes over an hour, or for me it took 45 minutes to download it, um, don't lose hope, it's gonna download, it will work, just make sure you're using a supported browser because we are using Mega. Okay, Mega is uh, basically Kim.com's new website for file sharing. So I'm gonna show you exactly how to do this using iTunes and an iPhone 5, so let's go ahead and get started. Once you have downloaded the file to extract, put it on your desktop and open it up. Click skip, otherwise it'll take forever. You're gonna wanna drag that file onto your desktop. It might take about five to 10 minutes depending on your computer to get that onto your desktop. The next step is to open up iTunes, that way you can get this all started. Go ahead and click on your iPhone after it has been plugged in. You're going to want to click on this computer and back up now. It is very important that you back up your phone because you can restore it later. It's going to take about 10 to 15 minutes to back up your phone. It completely depends on you know what model of phone you have, 4, 4S, 5. I have a 5 right here. So it could, it could take 20 minutes, it could take 30 minutes, it depends on how much you have on there. As soon as that's done, you're gonna want to hit restore. It is very important that you restore your iPhone. Now you can hit check for updates and you can get iOS 7 that way and just do a simple update. Hit restore again and then hit continue about the purchases. If you have major purchases, make sure you actually have access to that. I'll ask you about the software update. There is 6.1.4 or 6.1.3 depending on the phone. Make sure you do that update because it's going to force you. And even if you say you have the update, just make sure you do the update because Apple just thinks that you don't have the update. It's a common glitch going on right now. This process of downloading the update takes the longest and that's the problem. Go out, get a coffee break and come back 45 minutes later. As soon as the download is done, it's going to continue processing that file and just like the IPSW that I just showed you with iOS 7, there's also an IPSW that Apple downloaded for 6.1.4 and it takes a long time for that thing to process and extract and um, basically prepare itself to install on your phone. So that's what it's doing right now, it's processing the file, it can take 5 minutes to do that. Now it's going to ask you, you have changed the settings for the iPhone, do you want to apply them? Then click apply if you get this. Now if it is synchronizing the phone, it's going to ask you if you want to restore it. Go ahead and click restore. For right now, it's just going to be doing the iPhone software update. You're going to see a bar on both the phone and iTunes going across. And it's going to take a while. It took me about 20 minutes during this process. It totally depends on how fast your computer is and a whole bunch of other stuff. Right now I'm kind of fast forwarding it and that's basically what's going on. Doing all this file transfers and stuff, so don't worry. As soon as you're done, it's going to say your iPhone has been successfully restored to factory settings and is restarting. Your phone's going to restart and it's going to act like a new iPhone. Go ahead and set up as a new iPhone and click continue. As soon as you're done, go ahead and click done or get started and it's going to do its backup. Now if you had a previous name on the phone before, it's going to change the name to whatever name your computer has specified. So like me, I have an iPhone 5 and it says Jamil Aliyah's iPhone on my iPhone. I was using a friend's iPhone and it changed the name to Jamil Aliyah's. As soon as it's done, pull down Option plus Shift on Mac or Control plus Shift on PC and click on check for update. Go ahead to the desktop where you have your IPSW already to go. Click open, then click update. The same process is going to happen as before. 
your iPhone, it's going to go through the same setup, extracting the software. One major difference is you'll see the logo on the iPhone itself is a little modernized. As soon as we're done, you're going to need to go and set up your phone with a developer account. That's a very easy process. All you need to do is take your UDID number, which can be found in iTunes by clicking on your serial number. You take that number, and then you can take it to anybody who has a developer account. If you have a friend that has a developer account, that works great. If not, you can go online and you can find somebody that will do it. You should not pay more than $10 to get this service done. I put a link in the description to help you out a little bit. As soon as you're done, it's going to ask you to set things up. Basically, just a little setup process and no big deal. Go ahead and click OK. You're done for now. Okay, thank you for watching. You are all done. You can go ahead and unplug your iPhone or iPod and that's it. You know, I really hope I helped you out. If you need any help, feel free to email me.